Hello, welcome to another 5 to 15 minutes of Transcending. My name is Car my name is Sarah E. I'm still getting used to my new name. Um, I was known as Carol E. a while back, and I decided to change my name to Sarah. And uh, welcome. Um, ever since I became Christ conscious on August 6th, 2023, uh, 2022, excuse me. I'm so excited I forgot what year it was. <laughs> I have devised my own uh, idea of conscience, my own idea. And um, I don't have a traditional idea of Christianity, although I respect Jesus' teachings. And I had a really profound awakening last summer, and it, uh, it came from a really dark place. I was at the end of my rope in what is often known as sin. Um, I was trying to live stream. I don't know if this is already mentioned on an episode here, but I was trying to live stream on Pacocha last summer. And I got invited to some uh, interesting events on Pacocha. I'll just put it that way. And they were not conducive to my mental wellness process or my social consciousness or my political convictions or my spiritual belief systems. In fact, they were the opposite, you know, and um, Satan had no regard. And sinners without conscience, without repentance, have no regard for good. And people that commit sins and transgressions and crimes without repentance, without end, have no regard for good. And I devised a uh, process, and as I um, devised my transcending process in my spiritual life too, um, I decided not to join any churches or let any other religion or religious systems or belief systems or people control what I believe in. I believe that our spiritual path is our own individual path and um, the path that I recommend the path that I'm following goes like this the ideals church of universal ethics now that's not a church I call it my church within I made it up myself um, I looked up how to start a church on uh, my search engine and they said something like it's only an idea if um, if it's not organized with a body of organization or government or such. You can look it up. Um, and if it's just like an individual uh, process. And it is such. But I call it my church within. I'm going to break down each word. Ideals Church of Universal Ethics. And it has an acronym, IQ. I like to say, what is your IQ? Um, ideals. Perfections. Standards of perfection. Ideals. Ideas of perfection. Church. A place to worship. Review. Revere. A place to, public place to worship. Universal, applying, applicable to all. Ethics, conscience, ethical behavior. Okay, and I even uh, wrote my own commandments. And uh, they might be a bit similar to the traditional Ten Commandments, but there are seven. One, thou shalt not use others for gratification. And you know what kind of gratification I'm talking about. Two, thou shalt not consent others to use you for gratification. In other words, set some boundaries. Three, intimate relations should only be for two purposes. A, producing offspring. B, establishing a bond with your betrothed or partner in commitment. And uh, in my in my belief system, 
it doesn't matter if you're um, LGBTQ or man and woman. Four, no outside affairs. We recognize feelings and thoughts are human. Actions and attitudes are within our control. I also practice this in my mental wellness process when I'm dealing with emotional regulation or mental health. Five, do not have self-gratification except only to be in touch with oneself. Do not romance oneself. Self-gratification should be a form of meditation and it should be private. And each individual has a right to practice it or not practice it. Very much like giving consent partners. Love thy neighbor as thyself means agape love for self and others. Include yourself on your list of loved ones. Agape love is very different from Eros love. Eros is sexual love. And as I said a moment ago, it should only be used for two purposes. Procreation and bonding with your partner that you're married to or committed to for life. Seven, practicing abundance mindset and attitude of gratitude at all times. Be mindful of jealousy and envy. That is a lack mentality. If you have an abundance mindset, you won't have to be jealous because you will be focusing on what you do have, what you do not, and not what you don't have. I hope you're all safe. That is what I believe in. Thank you for listening.